Well, the alarms were certainly unexpected, forcing her to leave the home she's known for years and now take residence in a place she's never been in and had to kill the residents of to take for herself. And sure, every night she reminds herself that these people were already dead, that she was doing them a service that she wished would be done to her if she ever met their end. But that doesn't stop the nightmares, the thoughts, the regret that she took something that wasn't hers, and in just a day, makes it hers. But that's going to be her every day. Everything she needs was not hers to start, but the world is dead. And as the rain crashes against her window, to wake her from her slumber, another day of taking things that weren't hers begins. Well, we awaken to rain again here, or should I say joy awakens to rain. Perhaps it's a little calming to hear it pitter-pattering on the roof and the wind pressing up against the windows. But the important thing is, is I think there's some light outside. We have not woken up in the middle of the night, so hopefully, uh, yeah, we, we, we actually can see a little bit here. So hopefully, let's, uh, let's open the curtains. It is early morning, likely. Yeah, we, can, we have a little bit of light hitting the ground out there. Uh, so that's promising. Today, or, or, you know, today would be a great day to be able to, to hit all of the windows, but the fact that it's raining definitely put a, a, puts a hamper on uh, my initial plans because rain is problematic. It causes us to get wet, which causes us to get sick, which dampens our mood. It might be one of those situations where we spend the day indoors. While Joy has certainly not been a survivor in this apocalypse long. I, I think the standard start is 30 days, so a mo month at most. She's been long enough to, to know the basics. She knows how to handle the undead. She knows when when it's not to go outside. And obviously weather can be a lot of, uh, very problematic. Now the upside to rain, and uh, she runs through this in her mind as well, is that it does create noise. Meaning other zombies who are around are going to be much harder to attract by running and walking. Um, and at the same time, they're gonna be shuffling around a lot more because the rain is going to kind of confuse them. They do operate on that base level of noise, smell, and sight. And right now, they're not going to smell much, they're not going to see much, and they're going to hear a whole lot of noise. So let's go ahead and speed things along. Let's see if by daylight here, uh, we'll have ourselves some rain stopping. I kind of hope. Yep, there we go. Perfect. The rain is actually stopping as the sun fully rises. Okay. Now, the question is, what do we want to carry with us? We're gonna have to have like a trash, a trash place to kind of dump all of our open stuff. Ooh, we've got canned sardines in here too. I didn't realize. Ooh, and a cookie. Did I not check that before? Thought I did. Um, for now, let's go ahead and put the tin can over here. We'll eat the cookie for breakfast. It's not the greatest meal, but it's it's. I don't want to waste it. Um, and we can even go ahead and put the rolling, the broken rolling pin in here as well. Or not. I don't, I want to unfavorite it. Maybe that's doing it. There we go. And we've got peanut butter on us if we need to. If we don't really want to go out too, we also have a lot of books we can begin to read. And it started to rain again. Right when we were kind of getting ready to go outside, it started to rain. Let's uh, do a quick shuffle around the house. At the very least, let's see if there's anything around here that we need to worry about. If there's not, um, then we're in good shape. We should probably zoom out all the way so we can really see. And I see nobody else around here. Well, we want to be productive. Joy has no intention of not being productive. And we have houses nearby. So for now, why don't we start moving corpses out of the way? Um, ideally, maybe just like kind of dump them in the forest somewhere. We have a nice little patch of ground over here. We could, we could drop everything. Oh, it all went away. There it is. It's going to start plopping corpses on the ground, and eventually we can actually burn them if we want to. But we want to make sure we're not having a lot of bodies lying around because they will rot. It can cause problems. I don't know if disease is running rampant through here yet. Um, I don't know if that's part of the game, if it, but I know it's something that they were definitely talking about at one point. 
But that's the fun of uh, coming back to a game you haven't played in, I think, about three or four years, really seriously at least, uh, is, is all the new stuff that is going to be kind of just for, there for you to discover. Immediate tools that I'd like to have. Well, she's a fire officer, and the one thing that I'd love for her to have is an axe. Joy having an axe would allow a lot of uh, opportunity here. We can work on our carpentry, and if this is the place we're going to end up staying, uh, there's uh, definitely the the need to put a fence around. We really want to board up our walls and our windows, too. We might be able to board up a few of them um, by just breaking down furniture that we can with our hammer. We'll probably get a little bit of wood out of that, and we can start busting down doors as well uh, uh, throughout the house if we want to, um, which may not be a bad idea either. Uh, there's a lot of ways we can get wood early on, but to get an axe would just do us uh, wonders. We'd be able to really tackle the trees in the area, and it would make a very, very good kind of emergency weapon. The other thing I'd love to have, too, is a uh, just like a kitchen knife. Very simple. A quick weapon that can deal with some close encounter zombies inside some buildings. If we ever get cornered in a room or a bathroom by one or two, uh, to have a kitchen knife would do us a, it would go a long way to ensuring that we live through those encounters. It's good to have multiple weapons at your disposal at any given time. Now, between last time I recorded and this one, I've also been told that the all thumbs flaw is a whole lot worse than it used to be. That it's actually like maybe even unbalanced bad. That sounds like it'll make a fun, <laughs> a fun challenge. So, um, that's something we're going to absolutely look into, into managing a little bit more. Everything we do now has to kind of have the forethought of, can we do it with our all thumbs, uh, trait? If we can't, then we need to come back and do it another time. Also going out for long trips, we're going to need to make sure we have everything we want on our person and not in the bag to ensure we have the fastest rate of changeover that we can have. Um, if we don't and we have it in the bag and all of a sudden we need something a whole lot more, we'll definitely take that empty notebook, by the way. I think this is going to up her skills, like running with corpses is going to help with her strength. I'm pretty sure that's how, it's, how it works. If it doesn't, it should. If we look at our skills, sprinting is already up one. We're gaining, we have one point available. Maintenance and accuracy is actually already going up for some reason. Maybe, oh, because we've been using the same weapon. Light-footed and sprinting is going up as well. Yeah, and our, our, we do have 500 strength already. And fitness. Yeah, yeah, we're good. We're in, a, we're in a good position. She's already killed 37 zombies, and her favorite weapon is kind of logged as a frying pan. I would not say that's her favorite weapon game. I would just say that's just the one that she has the most familiarity with. Or the one that she's, should I say, uh... The only one she has access to, not familiarity. Now, we I did see a zombie kind of lingering in the rain over here. I'm hoping that's the only one because I will absolutely go take care of that one momentarily. Ah, oh, she sees me. Let's just go. Uh... We might be able to just push her, actually, now that I think about it, and just stomp on her head. Nope. Come on, fall. She's not falling. All right, well, let's equip. And we'll just stomp on her head. That's something I should have been doing, was the stomping. It's gonna be much better for us that way, but uh, I certainly have not been doing that. All in time. I'll get, I'll get back into the swing of things. It's like shaking off rust, you know? Playing this game is like riding a bike, but at the same time, there's a lot of detail to it, so I forget a lot of it. I don't mind uh, kind of separating body disposal here. I don't need to remove the grass. Let's just grab the corpse. Swing up. Unequip. Okay, let's get our frying pan back in our uh, hand. We can apparently re repair it, but we don't have any duct tape, glue, or adhesive tape. Can I not? I can. Okay, we're in. Nope. We're in the driver's seat now. I don't know if there's a way to search. We have no key, so we can't start it. No key. No key. No key. Alright, well, that's fine. I don't know if we can do anything back here. Maybe there's like a trunk. Oh! I just need to do this. Here, let's go in. 
10 West Point map. I have not seen one of these before. That might be a great get. Read map. So is this where I am then? Is this where I am? I don't know. But this is new. Can I draw? I mean, I wonder if with a pen, add a symbol. Okay, okay. Huh. Okay. That's exciting. That's something I've been wanting in the game for the longest time, and I had no idea was in it. So let's go ahead and grab this pen. And let's go. That was awesome. All right. We can actually start planning routes now. That's something, the, the way it used to be is we'd have to, I'd, I'd usually have to have a map open on my second monitor because maps were in the game. Um, but this is great because now I can kind of operate in the game and, um, you know, we can see exactly what Joy's decisions are and where she's going to go uh, via, via planning on the map. Okay. Well, we have a neighboring house right here. We're hungry a little bit, but it's not a huge deal. I'm a little nervous to crack open the door because I'm afraid of an alarm. It's locked. Is there a room I can get into through a window that's not necessarily supremely dangerous? There's so many open freaking door, uh, open doors inside. Okay, that one's locked. Locked. We can make, I think we can, okay, let's see if what happens. Any alarm? No. I want to get in and I just want to open a door. We'll see if an alarm goes off. Excellent. Okay, we're in we're in good shape. Okay, let's close this. Can we remove the curtains? Yes. We need these. Okay. Good, good, good. We've got a couple of sheets now. Let's uh nothing going on on the TV. I don't know if we can change the channel. Premium Technologies Television. Channel w WBLN News. That is beautiful. This coat, it's from Fashion Abel. This coat, wow, they're just talking about. There's a, so there's life, normal living life elsewhere in the world. Advanced Metalworks, Expert Carpentry, Empty Notebook. All right. Let's turn around. I've got this going. I'm just nervous about upstairs. There's one. I just was, if there was two, I was hoping to shut that door. There are two. Down, we gotta move. Let's see if we can get them outside. Let's see if we can grab them. Come on down, boys. There's at least two. Okay, good. We're gonna drag one out. Now, shouting obviously comes with risks, and Joy knows this. But she's also having a good look around the neighborhood, and for the most part, it seems as though it's relatively empty. A calculated risk, but one that she's willing to take. Let's see if we can kill him off. Good, the other one decided to pop over. Come on. Okay, I don't know why she's pushing and not stomping, but we'll try again. There we go. Nothing. Good, good, good. We're gonna wanna swap out, uh, I think, this shirt here. It's dirty and bloody. Anything I can grab to eat really, really... Oh, quick kitchen knife! Exactly what I was talking about. That's gonna be very good for us. Alright, we've got some canned foods. Nothing I can crack open quite yet. Ooh, ooh, we got a cooked fish fillet? It's not hot, so we can, it's cold. So let's turn this on and let's just reheat it. Is that good enough? Let's just eat the whole thing. We're hungry. It's gonna up our boredom, I guess, but I wonder if it's just because it's not seasoned. 
We're fine on the happiness spectrum. Uh, we might as well grab another rolling pin. Emergency weapons can go a long way. A light bulb is going to be good for crafting. Honestly, all this stuff is very good to grab. Okay, fill up all of our waters. A li yeah, lighter is going to be good. A butter knife, eh. I'm not thrilled about the butter knife. Broccoli, we can take back. That seems to be it here. All right. This has been a lucrative house so far. Um, nothing in the bathroom. Hopefully there's a better bathroom upstairs. I'd really like to get our hands on, uh, some good medicine. Okay, that, don't do that, game. Oh my god, I jumped. Music at, like, the worst time. This house is great. It's very, very pretty. Underwear? Maybe. If we needed it. Alright. Bottle of disinfectant is phenomenal find. A towel, also very good. Uh, improvised events to find. Yeah, we can use this for some useful stuff. Tweezers, I don't know. Yeah, oh, well, we need tweezers to remove glass and bullets. I did not know that. Cotton balls, we'll go ahead and take it. Another bath towel. We're not in the point where we need to start taking water from tubs or, or um, toilets yet either. And we'll definitely take all of this. This is a great, the neighbor's house. Man, they were stashed. It's a shame that we had to kill them. And Joy finds no pleasure in doing so, but this is far enough away from where she lived that she didn't really know these people at all. To that, to her, it's it's, it's just the, the struggle of having to put down somebody that is, that still looks human, even though they aren't. She's been doing it for 30 days, but still. Um... I don't want to turn the TV off, but whatever, it's fine. Now, I have a personal little, like, uh, method, uh, and it jo it'll be Joy's method as well. As long as we've looted a house completely, I will leave all the doors open. If they are not looted, uh, she, she tends to shut them. But, now that I think about it, we're not in West Point, I don't think. Which is why I think, yeah, it's just the center of the map. We're not in West Point. We are currently in, I think, Muldrow. So the West Point map doesn't actually help right now, but uh, it's good to know. When we, if we ever find a map of Muldrow, then we can we can start um, figuring out where we are on the map, and then we can start marking what's been looted and what's not. Ah, a broken window or two or three. That is quite telling. Yep, we can hear them. I imagine he's in there. Door open. At least two. At least two. And we have a shed in the back. Well, let's hit the shed first. The shed will provide us with hopefully better weapons. The tree is moving. Ooh, they're like gently moving in the breeze. Oh, cool. Really? A locked shed? I think sheds can have alarms on them. Hammer. Fishing rod. Good for food. Let's go ahead and close this. In case they end up popping in. A wrench. Electronics magazine. More hammers. We, we have no reason not to take the hammers right now. A metal bar. Premium technology radio. Another hammer. No axe, though. That's what we're looking for mainly right now. We're starting to get weighed down, so our time to head back is drawing near. You have to play it smart. Make sure we're not carrying too much. I'm... There we go. Screwdriver, hammer, twine. We'll take it all. Or none of it. Why won't... Alright. Just grab the hammer yourself, then. We'll go back with it in our hands. Okay. Ooh, what in the hell? Alright. 
That's probably where most of the window breaking came from. Let's swing back this way. Let's shut that door for now. But there's at least five or six more up there, at least two in here. If, you know, hazard a, a cautious guest, uh, guess. It's like, um... Probably close to, probably around 10 to 15 zombies would be my guess. Because we don't know how many is in that house over there either. Alright. Home sweet home. Let's see if anybody's popped over since we've been here. Seems pretty clean. Minus the blood spatter, obviously, indoors. And we're home. Alright. Time to organize a bit. Okay, well, first floor organization is done. I tend to try and keep things relatively organized here. And I enjoy, as a fire officer, probably lives a very strict, organized life. So, we've got all of our perishables sitting in here. Um, over to the shelf directly next to it, all of our non-perishables that we can grab as we need it. We've got a long way to go before I feel comfortable with what we've got. The bathroom directly associated will keep all things bathroom related, including medicine, razors, tweezers, you know, things that you need for first aid. And then over here in the living area, we've got a nice little bookshelf, not too far, that has been filling up with a bunch of books. Uh, most of these came from this, the trip we came back on. And now we're going to swing upstairs, and like I said, one of the biggest concerns I have, obviously, is traveling and being seen. So we're just going to start throwing sheets onto the windows that don't have them yet. Close them. And I think we're good here. I, I can't remember how many windows we needed. I think it was two. We, d we really don't need to worry too much about this one, but if we ever decide to break down the doors in our area, uh, in our home uh, for, for supplies, then we're going to want to make sure that any window on the other side is covered. We've got curtains in here, which I did not realize. Uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and, and grab these beta blockers up here, and we're going to move them downstairs. I want to make sure everything's within, within grabbing range. Usually I'll keep an emergency supply of meds on the second bathroom floor if we need it, but we're not in, in that kind of situation, not yet. We've got a long way to go before we need to worry too much. I think these shelves are going to be where we keep most of our construction equipment. Not that it makes sense to have your construction equipment sitting in the kitchen, but we're looking at efficiency here more than anything else. Especially, especially uh, Joy being a fire officer. Keeping things strict and efficient. Easily attainable at any given time. Now, as far as the fishing rod is concerned, I think I'll just keep it at the end over here. I don't really know how to do any fishing yet. Uh, I will obviously mess with it at some point. Is there a way to clean this? No. Maybe with disinfectant I could clean it? But, I don't know. I might just be, it might be better off for me to just... Uh, let's go ahead and eat this. It might be better off for me to uh, just see if I can get new clothing from a nearby area. Speaking of, one of the big areas I definitely would like to continue exploring um, is where we came from. We passed a store and we packed a, passed a doctor's office actually on the way here. And uh, that would have massive potential for incredibly useful items. Problem being, we were under a, an immense amount of pressure to get the hell out of there as fast as we could. I'm curious how bad it looks now. This is the medical office. We've already got a smashed window on the right-hand side here. Most of the windows are... Oh, yeah, there we are. We have a small pack. Keeping busy. We definitely have some... Noisemakers. Alright, what if we tried to pull them away? Let's see if we can get them out. Pull them all out. I'm gonna try and loop around and lose them. But basically the idea is just to get them as far... Oh god, alright. There's a lot more than I thought. 
Don't corner yourself. Can't squeeze through there, Mathis. All right. This is this is the issue with uh, the alarm system, by the way. Alarms tend to cause a lot of noise. Didn't realize there were going to be this many packs still lingering around. So we got to play it smart. We got to zigzag and break line of sight as often as we possibly can. Like so. And I'm hoping they'll get distracted on their own. The noises they're making and so on. And we'll be able to hit that doctor's office and clear out minimal amounts. All right, yeah, we've we've definitely caused a bit of a of a cluster. One seems to be still seeing me. No, they've at least we know they've lost us. Here, let's uh, let's see if we can grab one or two and, and maybe clear them out. So let's see, four, five, one of the, the brushes here. And they're, they're going to cluster because he's moving in the trees, so he's creating noise. So they kind of backed up. Now he's in the trees. All right, they can't see me. We're starting to get tired, which is about our day. Have we checked the mailbox for this house yet? All right, relax, Jesus. Unnecessary. Metalwork magazine. We'll go ahead and grab that. All right. Well, night is encroaching, but I'd still like to do a few things before our day ends here. We can't really hit that place yet. I'm gonna need to prepare to take on that, that group. And I think a frying pan might be a little bit too little for that. But for now, we can go ahead and do some reading. Let's go ahead and read this Metalwork magazine. That does not take long to read, does it? Did we read it? Already read. Okay. Good stuff. That was fast. We can just throw that in here then. Um, let's see. Let's start with a beginner's book somewhere. Beginner carpentry. Let's absolutely start here. The sooner we start working on our carpentry skill, the better things we're going to be able to build and keep us safe. So let's just start to read. And this is going to take a while. But we're going to read until night falls fully. And it's going to take us a while to read. Oh, the fog is starting to roll in. Ooh, there's like a, a nice fog effect now. Speed things up. Just waiting for time to get dark. We might even be able to power through this entire book in one sitting, but probably not worth risking it. Let's grab one peanut butter. And I guess we'll have some peanut butter before bed. Another day, another success, and even more food, utilities, and tools at her disposal. The world is over, and hell walks it. But she's still kicking, and she ain't gonna give up yet. <laughs>